Hey guys, what's up? It's JC and I am going to be making kind of a really random video which has nothing to do with my videos that I normally make and I am going to be talking about bullying and just mean people in general. Number one. So I get a lot of mean comments on YouTube and my videos because you know obviously I'm putting myself out there so obviously I'm going to get some type of judgment. The mean comments that I get go along the lines of, Oh my gosh, look at her glasses. Those are like so weird. Why do people always wear those glasses? Are they like trying to make themselves look cool? Oh my gosh, look at her hair. That is like so ugly. Who wears their hair like that? Or there's the, wow, you really cannot sing. Or there's the, Oh my gosh, your tone is like so bad and pitchy. Well, believe it or not, these are actually my real prescribed glasses and without them, I can't see a thing. And about my hair, I actually love my hair, thank you very much. And about my singing, I've actually never had any voice lessons in my entire life or piano lessons or guitar lessons or any lessons that involve music at all. Everything I know about music, I've taught to myself. So you can stick that in your back pocket, if you have one. So, when I read all these mean comments that I get on my YouTube channel, I scroll down, I click on their YouTube channel because I'm like, well, if they're judging me and saying I'm a really bad singer, then wow, they must be like Mariah Carey or Whitney Houston or Britney. So I go to their YouTube channel, I scroll down, what do I see? No videos. Zero. Zip. Zilch. Nothing. So I'm just like, what the heck? Why don't they have any videos? I mean, they claim to be so much better than everybody else. Like, how can you judge someone and say all these mean things when you don't even have the courage to put YouTube videos up and we're the ones who actually have YouTube videos up and are putting ourselves out there? It makes no sense to me at all. So what I'm trying to say is people on YouTube that comment really mean stuff on other people's videos they usually don't even have their own videos, so they feel the need to go and put other people down because they feel crappy about themselves, so they have to hurt other people's feelings to make themselves feel better. But the truth is, they're just jealous because they don't have the courage to put themselves out there. One time, I made a video of me singing Stand Up, which is basically um, talking about standing up to cancer and stuff like that, and it, I had sung that song and put it on YouTube because my uncle had passed away from cancer, and I remember this one person commented on my video and she told me to stop singing or I'm going to give people cancer. Another thing involving my YouTube, I've actually had a few people um, show other people my YouTube videos and like laugh at them and like I guess they would show other people because they wanted them to like make fun of them or get a reaction out of it or something like that. I don't really know. But here's the thing, I wouldn't put videos on YouTube of myself if I thought that they were embarrassing. You know, like, I've gotten so many comments on YouTube saying, you know, how good of a singer I am, how nice of a person I am, and, you know, I've actually gotten some messages where people have asked me for advice on some things, and I've tried to help them out the best way I can, and, you know, they've said that they really appreciate it, and that I've helped them so much, and that I'm just a really nice person, and that, to me, just, like, beats out all the mean, negative comments and that stuff. Like, it's just so much more important. And I wouldn't make YouTube videos if I thought I was embarrassing myself. So, like, when people go around and, like, show people my videos and they, like, think it's affecting me or hurting me in some way, it's not. It's It actually makes me feel better because you're showing people my videos, you know. I want people to see my videos. I wouldn't put them on YouTube if I didn't want them to be seen, you know. I feel like YouTube is such a great thing to, like, help people and express yourself and, like, you know, put videos of yourself and, like, of singing or dancing or whatever you like to do you know and so yeah I, I really don't, don't care what people think about me at all and you know I want people to see my videos because I've gotten so many messages saying that I've helped people and if making YouTube videos and doing what I love singing is helping people in some way then obviously I'm gonna do it despite pe pe whether people make fun of me or not you know I've just had like some really mean girls just like send me really mean text messages um, just saying I'm really ugly everybody hates me nobody in the town that town likes me and everybody in my school hates me 
and that I have really ugly teeth and um, nobody likes my family, my brothers and sisters are weird, I'm weird, just all that kind of mean stuff. And, um, you know, there's been like, there's actually been like this one person who is like really mean to me and she actually like threatened me and I had told my parents and then my parents told the principal and um, the principal actually didn't do anything about, about it. Um, they were just like, you know, well, there's nothing we can do about it. You know, that's just how girls are. But no, you know, that's that's not how girls are. I'm not like that. I mean, like, not every girls are mean. And it's not okay for somebody to treat somebody like that and threaten somebody or hurt somebody or say mean things to anybody. You know, that's not okay. Not every person is like that. And I just feel like I wish that they could have done something more, but they didn't. But thankfully, I'm just not friends with any of those people in my life. You know, they're just out of my life. The first time that I remember um, getting bullied was when I was 8 years old. Um, I used to go to church all the time. Like, every single Sunday, I used to go to all church events. I used to be in youth group and everything. But um, when I was 8 years old, um, I was coming out of the church. My brother and sister, I don't know where they were I think they were going off with their friends and I was walking home because my house was like by the church so there was this group of guys and they called me over because I knew them from school obviously they were in my grade but um so they called me over and they started like calling me all these names and talking really mean stuff about my parents and um I remember this one guy he pushed me and then pushed me to the other guy and then they kept pushing me back and forth and then the guy actually pushed me to the ground and I just ran home crying and um, I don't think I told my parents I don't even think they know about that now but I looking back I definitely should have told somebody about it wrong and I think that that's what's wrong with today's society is so many people are just like oh you know just just ignore it that's just how some people are but no, you shouldn't ignore it. That is sending the totally, totally wrong message. If somebody's bullying you or harassing you or saying mean things to you, whether it's through cyberbullying or in person, you know, don't ignore them. You know, you should stand up for yourself and to make sure you tell somebody because there's so many people out there that do care and will help you. So the funny thing about that story is um, I actually moved to a different place and about eight years later, um, I worked at this restaurant. And about eight years later, after never seeing that person, they came into the restaurant and I had to serve them. I was like, oh my gosh. I Immediately when I saw them, I knew exactly who that person was. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? So, you know, I went over them. I served them like he was with his parents. Um... Yeah, and I was like really nice, you know, I was like, hey, you know, how are you guys, how's whatever going and stuff like that, and he looked at me like, oh my gosh, like he was in such shock, and um, the funny thing is, is about a few days later, he tried to add me to Facebook, and he was like, oh, you know, I'm so, so sorry that I was so mean to you when we were little, and it's just like, no, no, I'm sorry, I'm not we're not friends, you know, that's not how you treat a friend, you know, you're a bullet, you're a mean person, and I'm not going to be friends with you, so I didn't even respond to it at all, you know, that's just a waste of my time. So another story, um, there was this boy in my school, um, he had glasses, and you know, he was just walking through the school, just walking through the school, and there was a pole. And I guess he was looking down. I saw him. He was kind of like looking down. And he ran right into the pole. And he actually broke his glasses while he like cracked them. And I think there was at least 200 people surrounding, you know, because there's a bunch of hallways. There's a bunch of people surrounding him. Everybody stood there and laughed at him, pointed and laughed, and were making fun of him. And out of those 200 people, I was the only person who went up to him and asked him if he was okay and you know I tried to help him out I'm like are you okay and I asked him how his glasses were doing and everything out of 200 people one person one person asked him if he was okay and I didn't even know him like at all I had no idea who he was but you know like I know what it's like to have everybody laugh at you 
and make fun of you and embarrass yourself. I know what it's like. And to have everybody laugh at you and nobody help you out, it's just the worst feeling in the world. And I've definitely experienced that many times in my life because I'm a very awkward, shy, quiet person and I just have so many awkward moments. But yeah, so I just think that it's so wrong that people just like stood there and laugh and you know I understand that that's like the cool and popular thing to do that's what how society is and, you know people just think that it's cool to just laugh at people when you know they get hurt or something embarrassing happens to them but the truth is if it happens to you and you actually experience it for yourself you wouldn't want people to laugh at you the way that you laugh at other people you know you'd want people to care and you know look out for you and ask if you're all right I mean I know I would and I know what it's like to have people make fun of you and it's not a good feeling. So the whole moral of this video is if somebody is being mean to you, bullying you, calling you names, or putting you down in any way, do not, I repeat, do not ignore it. Because you know some problems don't go away. Sometimes you have to face it. And the best thing to do is stand up for yourself. Like, I cannot stress that enough. It's so important to stand up for yourself because if you just do what everyone else says to just ignore it, then who's going to win? They're going to win and they're going to think that you're just weak and it's just, no, you shouldn't do that at all. Make sure you stand up for yourself. Make sure you tell somebody. There's always somebody you can tell. You know, you can tell your friends, your parents, your grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters. Um... Even if you can't tell those people, you know, there's always um, teachers. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, there's guidance counselors. There's so many people you can tell. Even if you think there's nobody, there's always somebody there who can help you out. And just make sure you stand up for yourself. And also, if you see somebody else who's being bullied, make sure you stand up for them. Because if you just sit back and watch and let it happen... That makes you just as bad as the person who's doing the bullying. So make sure you stand up for not only yourself, but for other people. It's so, so important. Just think, if somebody was bullying you or trying to harm you in any way, would you want everyone who's around you to just stand there and watch and let it happen? I know I wouldn't. So make sure you stand up for yourself and for other people. If you see anybody being bullied or harassed or being treated badly in any way, make sure you stand up for yourself and tell somebody. And as cheesy as it sounds, it gets better, I promise you. So thank you guys for watching and I hope that this helps somebody out there, you know, even if it helped one person or anybody, you know, I just hope that this helped in some way and thank you guys so much for watching.